To catch into the toe, it's a lot easier to do from the pearl side. So start by turning your sock inside out and you're going to hold it so that the tail yarn is kind of at the, the top right of the stitches. Okay. There's another Dean and Bean video on our website that shows you how to Kitchener the toe closed with bigger yarn that's a more close up video. So if, you, if this is your first time to Kitchener, you might wanna go check out that video first. To Kitchener this closed, I first find the little side bar. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go down through that side bar. Then I'm going to go up through the bottom stitch with the stitch marker and back up through that side bar that I just caught. And then down, you kind of think of these being held like a sandwich. It's a little always tricky right in this corner. I'm gonna go down through this stitch, the top stitch that has my stitch marker and back down into the stitch at the bottom that has the stitch marker. And then both of those stitch markers can be removed. So this one through that bottom stitch. Now you're going to make sure you're getting all, you're not skipping any along the way. So from here, I can see the waist yarn follows that along. So this is my next one. And then I'm going back up through that stitch I, at the top that I just came down through. So I can find it because I just went down through that one. I follow this stitch. Here's how the waist yarn went up from this one around and down. So that's what I'm doing as well down through the next stitch, and then back through the stitch I had just come up through. And at this point, you wanna start pulling them pretty firmly. Not pinchy tight, but pretty firm. And you repeat all the way across. Here I am almost at the other end. I'm about to go into the last stitches that do not have markers. Now I'm going up through the bottom stitch with a marker. And then going down through the top stitch with the marker and back into the bottom stitch with the marker. As soon as I get that started, I'm gonna remove both of those. I'm not losing that top one. So there's the top one. And now I'm ready to find that side stitch to go back up through. So here's my gap. I think I'm going to use that one right there. And then you go back through that top stitch that had the marker. It's right there. Ooh, if I could pick it up. There it is. And then don't lose that bar because we're going to go back down through that one one more time. There it is. And now before I take it out, so here, here's what you look like. Here's how it looked like as we were stitching. It's those little stitches in between there that we just made. And I like to turn it right side out again and make sure I didn't forget any stitches. I didn't skip any stitches before I weave the tail in. Okay. So I try to get a hold of this. Get 
unwind all. There I have one little split stitch. Trim those very carefully. Last of that, Ooh. got caught on my yarn that wasn't woven in yet. There we go. It looks like I did not drop any stitches. You can usually see them if you look, you can usually see them popping out. There's my finished Kitchener toe. So I can come back to this side. There we go. I can come back to this side and then just weave in my final tail yarn. There's another whole video that shows you how to do this in a more close-up way. So here is your finished sock with your cuff, the leg rows that you cranked, our simple short row wrapped heel, and the same method for the toe that we Kitchenered shut at the end. I hope you had fun cranking along with us. We're so grateful that you joined us and hope you'll post pictures of your socks online or send us an email. Happy cranking. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.